I've been working on this deep dive feature of Huntsville, Alabama, aka Rocket City for months. I've spoken to dozens of people and the one name that comes up over and over again as instrumental in cultivating business in the area is yours. Uh, so I'd love to ask your thoughts or I guess your role in cultivating business and bringing investment to Huntsville and basically what you say to companies who are thinking about coming here. Well, uh, I thank, thank you for the compliment. Uh, I have worked hard uh, as a U.S. Senator to point out that Huntsville is a good place to do business. They have uh, one of the high, most highly educated uh, workforces in the nation is science and engineering, and companies know that, and that's why they're going there. Uh, it all started out back in the early 50s, and when we had the rocket team from Germany to come there, Dr. Von Braun, and it's grown, and it's growing, and Huntsville probably will be the largest city in the state in a few years. Yeah, and it's uh, it's got roots in government for sure, and Huntsville in many ways is still a government town. It's still dependent to a certain extent on defense dollars and space programs. You've also got other law enforcement agencies that are expanding their footprint, like the FBI here as well. How do you think about the direction of those federal dollars to the area, and what is it about Huntsville that's able to collect so many of them? Well, it's the education, uh, the quality of the workforce, uh, this the highly educated engineers in science and, and uh, uh, so forth that in math that brings them there. But we also have a, not only the government investing down there and bringing thousands of workers, we have the private sector following it, which it generally does. Uh, so most people in Washington, most people in the country, in the high tech area know very much uh, uh, the story of Huntsville and they're investing there, they're coming there. and. There's a lot of synergy between Huntsville and Silicon Valley, between uh, the aerospace industry all over the world and Huntsville, Alabama. Yeah, and certainly uh, a focus on developing Northern Alabama as, uh, as sort of a next generation tech hub. In, in terms of the national security piece of this though, space, missile defense, hypersonics, these are the fastest growing areas of the Defense Department's budget. Do you it, it worry is. that the DOD could change, could change focus from those areas as we go into a, a presidential election year? I, I would hope not. I chair the subcommittee on defense, which is part of the whole appropriations committee. And uh, the security of the nation is very important. It's paramount. And it's the largest expenditure we do. We have a lot of adversaries in the world, uh, competitors, China, Russia, and a lot of upstarts. And we have to be on the cutting edge. And Huntsville is on the cutting edge of technology as far as missile defense, as far as missile technology, the Space Command's there, uh, FBI's big there, missile intelligence is located there. Uh, it's, I'm bullish on Huntsville. I think it's going to continue to be the Army's uh, brainchild, and that's very important to the nation. Do you worry about so much of the future of U.S. space in the hands of tech entrepreneurs? Uh, no, I don't. I think that, uh, you know, we started the program, but uh, the private sector's got a role here. They, uh, they, they're outsourced. A lot of the stuff is to the private sector. Government doesn't do it all, but it, it's, it has a demand. It has a list and what the requirements are. And they work together, and I think working together is what we, where we want to go and stay. Yeah. Lastly, Senator, as chairman of the of Senate Appropriations Committee, we got this continuing resolution expiring in the coming days. How do you see getting to a fiscal 2020 appropriations deal, especially when you're balancing the Democrat controlled House on the one hand and the White House on the other? Excellent question. Uh, we're working hard. I'll be meeting uh, this week with the House, my House counterparts and go from there. And uh, we think that funding defense is paramount. Uh, we're going to try to continue to do what we did last year. Thank you for putting us on. Thank you for being in Huntsville.